In his second State of the Union address, President Biden laid out what he sees as some of his administration's biggest accomplishments. And while the president was speaking last night, our verified team of fact checkers were tracking every claim that he was making, including when President Biden took credit for economic growth during his presidency, citing booming job numbers. After we've created, with the help of many people in this room, 12 million new jobs, more jobs created in two years than any president's created in four years. Our team can verify the first half of that claim is true. According to the Bureau of Labor Statistics, there were 143 million jobs when President Biden first took office. Now, two years later, there are 155 million jobs. But the second half of that claim is false. Verifies Casey Decker explains why. The BLS has data going back to 1939, and we found that between 1996 and 2000, when Bill Clinton was president, more than 12.4 million jobs were added. That's more than the 12.1 million added in Biden's two years. Now, those years span Clinton's first and second terms in office, so the growth wasn't just in one term, but it was over one four-year span. Our Verify team fact-checked other claims the president made and also claims made by Arkansas Governor Sarah Huckabee Sanders in her Republican rebuttal. You can find our ratings on those right now on 10tampabay.com, also later tonight starting at 5. And President Biden, of course, will be visiting Tampa tomorrow. The White House press office says that he'll be talking about his plan to protect and strengthen Social Security and Medicare while lowering health care costs. We'll have crews there bringing you the latest covers throughout the day on the president's visit here to the Bay Area.